Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning a and Merry Christmas. It's nice to see you. You know, I think I'm carrying too much here. Mr. Quigley, what are you doing out there? It sounds like you're dropping things. Well, you got that right. Uh, I'll untie this here for you, Columbo. Hang on. Oh. I like a fun game, Mr. Quigley. Can I play? <laughs> it's not a game, Trundle. I was just trying Good morning, to... Mr. Quigley. Good morning, morning Trundle. Molly. Morning, Molly. This looks like an interesting game. <laughs> it's not a game. I was just trying to carry too much, and then... And all these boxes went flying everywhere. It made a big noise, Molly. <laughs> well, who are all these gifts for? Well, after the Christmas play tonight, I'm going to give a gift to each of the kids. Wow, I love to get gifts. Mr. Quigley? Is there one for me? Trundle, do you think I'd forget you? Well, I was just asking. <laughs> well, Mr. Quigley, after you read your letter, I'd be glad to help you carry these packages over to the rehearsal. Thank you. I would really appreciate it. Would you hold these for me? Sure. Thank you. God loved the world so much that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Do you mean that Jesus is a gift from God? He sure is. God loved the world so much that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. That's what Christmas is all about, Trundle. God giving us a gift. Hmm, that's right. Well, if you can take those packages, sure. then I think I can gather these up. Okay. I'll meet you over there, Mr. Quigley. Okay. Thank you, Molly. Well, I got them all. Ooh, it's slipping. Do you have it, you guys? Well, yeah, go over here, Jenny, over here. Jenny, run over there and see if it's stuck. No, no. Let's try over here. Uh-oh. Hey. Hey, what'd you make this out of, Milty? It's so heavy. Well, I asked my mom if I could use the kitchen table to make my star. Yeah? And she said yes. Oh, so she let you make the star on the kitchen table? No, this is the kitchen table. Oh. <gasps> Danny, check. Oh, no, not over there, Danny. Danny, no. No. Whoa! Help! 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 The kitchen table's got me! Help! There. Hurry, get out. Thanks, Dexter. <laughs> uh, Danny, are you okay? I, I, I think so. I've never been hit by a falling star before. Well, I think I better go and talk to your mother for a minute, Milty. I'll be right back. Okay. You gotta admit, Danny. This is a great star. <laughs> yeah, well, we'd have to be pretty nearsighted wise men to miss this thing. <laughs> Did you get the gifts for baby Jesus? Well, no, I, I decided that I'm better at getting gifts than giving them. So I thought I would just Danny, get more than... You, you didn't get the gifts for baby Jesus? Well, Danny, wise men wouldn't be wise men if they didn't bring gifts. Well, don't worry, Milty. Baby Jesus will understand. But, Danny, well, what are we going to... Huh? Get that all straightened out. You didn't tell me it was your old kitchen table. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Well, we better get to the rehearsal, because it's ready to start soon. Right. Okie yeah. dokie. Let's go. Is everyone ready for the rehearsal? Oh, yes, Mr. Quigley. Quigley. Okay, I'm we're going to so start excited. Tonight. I can't wait to be married. Yeah. Oh, I know. Alex, you look wonderful. Looks now, just like a shepherd. Spike and Bubba. Mm hmm Remember, you must promise to be very, very careful with Mrs. Toddy. Oh, we will. Oh, yeah. This is her first time on stage, and she's very nervous. Oh, yeah. don't worry, Lemon. We'll be very careful. All yeah, right. Lemon, you can count on us. Yeah. Okay. Mrs. Toddy, you're in good hands. But remember what I told you. Even if the swaddling clothes get very, very itchy, you can't scratch, okay? <laughs> 
I'm very proud of you, Mrs. Toddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about a thing, Lemon. All right. We'll take care of Mrs. Toddy. There you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go, Mrs. Toddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? What? I think that baby Jesus would be a lot more comfortable if he had a pillow under his head. Oh, yeah. And since you're going to be Joseph, yeah? maybe you could give the innkeeper a dollar and he might be able to find us a better place than this. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. idea. <laughs> oh, and how about coming into Bethlehem on a horse rather oh. than a donkey? Or, better yet, yeah? how about in a limousine? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you comfortable? Would you like some lemonade and chips? Well, we're almost to Bethlehem, and I'll find us the best hotel room money can buy. Well, thank you. I am quite tired and am ready to stop. <laughs> Is there anything else I could do to make you more comfortable? Um, no, I think I'm about as comfortable as a queen would wow. be. Hi, hey. Bubba. Hi, Spike. What are you doing? Oh, oh, Mr. Quigley. It well, looks like you're having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> we were just going over our parts for the Christmas play. Oh, yeah. I see. And we think we made the story even better. Yeah. yeah. Made it better. Yeah. How, how do you improve on the Christmas story? Well, we think that baby Jesus deserves much more than rags for yeah. clothes and more than straw to sleep on. Yeah. Well, you're right. Jesus does deserve more. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we should change the story. No? Huh? But don't you want to have a happy ending? Yeah. Well, there is a happy ending. Huh? You see, God gave the gift of Jesus to the world. Wow. Huh. So that all people could live happily ever after. Huh. Wow. Huh. Okay, Mr. Quigley. <laughs> But I still think the baby Jesus should at least have some warm pajamas. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs> Let's put it down over here. You got it? Yeah. There. Boy. Now, let me find out where it needs to go so we don't drag it around any further than we need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Maybe next time you can make the star out of cardboard or something like that, Milty. Ooh. I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at all those presents. Ooh. I wonder where they all came from. I don't know. <laughs> I wish they were all for me. I love to get presents. <laughs> How about oh, this one over here? No, that's not mine. <laughs> there. Wow. Look at all these presents. I love presents. <laughs> lots and lots of presents. A king should get piles of presents from his loyal subjects. Look here. Wow. It's for me. And over here, it's for me. And over here, it's for me. They're all for me. Because I'm the king. <laughs> I'm the king. I'm the king, I'm the king, I'm the king, king, king. They're for me, they're for me. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Look at all these presents. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this one over here is for me. Oh, I'm Milty. Let's see. Say, yeah. would you take this and put this with Look the rest of your costume? Look at all these presents. Yeah, Thanks. this is great. Yeah. Danny, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Quigley. I was just wondering how many of these are for me. Oh, Danny. Look at all the presents underneath the tree. It's Christmas and I wonder if they're all for me. Because I love to be receiving all of my gifts. And that's the reason. I can't wait another minute till the moment arrives. When I open up each present for the big surprise. With new toys I will be playing. And now that it's Christmas, I am saying. Give me, give me, give me, give me paper. Tell you something that I really believe The Christmas time is more than all the gifts we receive Because giving is the reason Together we celebrate the season The 
Father up in heaven gave his only son The reason was to show his love to everyone For he wants us to be living Knowing that joy is in the giving He really, 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 really wants us to know That Christmas is more than pretty paper and bows He really, 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 really wants us to bring The gift of our hearts to Jesus the King I want to tell you something that I really believe That Christmas time is more than all the gifts we receive Because giving is the reason Together we celebrate the season The Father up in heaven gave his only son The reason was to show his love to everyone For he wants us to be living Knowing that joy is in the gift Well, Danny, I think there's probably at least one gift in there with your name on it. Huh. Well, if there's one in there for me, I can't wait to find it. Let's see over here. No, that's for Milty. Let's see, that's for Lemon. Huh, that's for Spike. Let's see. Hey, I don't see one for me here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no, there's not one for me. I have to tell Mr. Quigley that we can't have Christmas. No. Better, okay, like everyone, <laughs> we're going to get started yeah. rehearsal. Okay. We're going to start on scene four. So, Lemon, why don't you begin? <laughs> okay. <sighs> and there were shepherds out in the country keeping watch over their flocks at night. And lo, an angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Hark, get his eye, an angel of the Lord. Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy for all people. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Oh, Mr. Quigley. Yes. Uh, what are swaddling clothes? Well, swaddling clothes are just strips of cloth that they used to wrap babies in. Oh, I see. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Quigley. Yes, ma'am. But uh, we need to ask Lemon something. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. It's fine. Yeah. What is it? Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Lemon. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in a satin blanket. Yeah. <laughs> With beautiful lace lying in a French provincial crib yeah. Yeah. with a fluffy pillow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when suddenly... Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 Lemon. We need oh. to stop right here, I think, for uh -huh. a second. Um, Bubba and Spike, I appreciate that you want Jesus' birthplace to be more like a palace, but the Bible says that he was born in a very simple place. Oh. But Jesus was the Son of God. Yeah. He should have been born in a mansion. Yeah. Well, I know it's hard to understand, but you see, God wanted to prove that his gift to the world was for everyone, the oh. rich and the poor. Oh. Oh. Well, well if, if God wanted everyone to have his gift, then, then I don't think we should change the story. Yeah. Oh, you're Good. right. Yeah. I'll go put Mrs. Toddy back into her swaddling clothes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's good, Spike. Lemon, why don't we take it where we left off? All right. Suddenly there appeared a great company of angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let's hurry to Bethlehem and see this thing that the Lord has told us about. Hey, I said, let's hurry to Bethlehem. Mr. Quigley, uh -huh. is it okay if I carry the snails, Brittany and Kyle? I think we could hurry much quicker. <laughs> sure, that's just fine. Oh, great. Okay, let's go, y'all. Oh, boy. Oh, it's okay, Danny. 
Mm. Maybe I wasn't good enough this year. Mm. Or maybe I should have eaten my vegetables more. Danny, maybe. Milty, we have to hurry. Hmm? They're about to start rehearsing the shepherd scene, and we have to hang the star. But, but Danny hasn't been able to find a present under the Christmas tree with his name on it. I don't feel like being a wise man anymore, Dexter, because I didn't get a present. Oh, I see. And the Christmas play will just have to go on without one of the wise men. Mm. Well, what do you do when you have a birthday? Well, we have a party. And? And some cake and mm -hmm. ice cream. Mm -hmm. And? And on, on my birthday, people bring me presents. Well, whose birthday do we celebrate at Christmas time? Uh, Jesus' birthday. So? Well, we'll have a party, and then we'll... <gasps> Milty, mm. it's baby Jesus' birthday, and we forgot Ooh. to get a present. Ooh. Come on. Okay, let's go. <sighs> let's see. Oh, no. Looks like I'll have to find someone else to help me with this. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. go. Okay. <sighs> I sure wish I had told Milty to make the star out of paper. Well, it'll probably be the first Christmas play ever where the wise men see a table in the East. <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, at least I think the kids understand that God made a special star so that the wise men could find Jesus. Oh, by the way, did you intend to give Danny something tonight along with everyone else? Of course I do. Well, he was looking at the name tags at the presents under the tree backstage and uh -huh. didn't find one for himself. He was pretty upset. Well. I'm, I'm pretty in pain. Here, buddy, okay. go. There, let me tie it off. Here, hurry. Well, if it wasn't under the tree, then I think I know where it is. I, I'm sure I'll be able to find the gift when I go home to get my coat. Oh, good. I know one little lion cub that that would make very happy. There must be something in here that I can give to Jesus. Maybe something in the box here. No, nah, 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 not that. No, not that. Hey, maybe he'd like my baseball glove. No, that's not good enough. Let's see. Um, hey, maybe he'd like a book of Bible bedtime stories. No, he probably knows all of those already. <sighs> Jesus. I know that the real wise men in the Christmas story gave you gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Whatever that is. But I want to give you something really special. <sighs> Danny. Are you on your way over to the theater? Well, yeah, I guess so. Well. You don't look like you're very anxious to get there. Well, I'm not, Mr. Quigley. I, I guess I just don't feel very Christmassy. Well, Danny, you know what? I did a very silly thing this morning. I dropped a whole bunch of packages, and I forgot to pick one of them up. Really? Uh, whose present was it? Yours. <gasps> <laughs> wow. You may open it now if you'd like. Really? Sure. Thanks. Oh, boy, I can't wait to see what's in it. I wasn't oh, sure what to get you. I didn't okay. even know if you already had one. <laughs> but I thought I'd get you a little something. Wow! It's a Rocky Ranger Cadet Super Utility Pocket Knife with 38 handy attachments to tackle all of your home chore needs. <laughs> you mean, you, you've heard of it before? Yes, I have. Are you kidding? This is the greatest gift in the whole world. I'm glad you like it. Well, thank you, Mr. Quigley. You're welcome. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Terrific. Well, Danny, you know, I, you need to be very careful with that. Remember that, okay? Don't worry, Mr. Quigley. I'll be very careful. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to our presentation of the Christmas story. Tonight you will see that God loved the world so much 
that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Okay, Lalo, go ahead. Now, it came about that in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. And Joseph also went up from Galilee to the city of David, which was called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to be married to him. She was going to have a baby. And there it came about that while they were there, she was ready to have the baby. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. And she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Shepherds out in the country to be watching over their flocks and sheep. And lo, Boy, an angel of the Lord so came down to them. And I the hope the way to this star doesn't pull me up. And they were very afraid. But the angel said to them, Heart, it is I, an angel of the Lord. Okay. Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of this world that will be to all people. Oh, no. A Savior has been born to you. from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. <laughs> How did I get this? Oh. Dexter! And after talking to King Herod, the wise men left to go to Bethlehem. Dexter! And lo! The star which they had seen in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Yippee! And they came into the house and saw the child with Mary and fell down and worshipped him. And they presented him with treasures of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And a Rocky Ranger Cadet Utility Pocket Knife with 38 handy attachments. Wow! wow. 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 Yikes! <laughs> Baby Jesus, 
I love you. As you give Christmas gifts to those you love, remember that God loved us first and gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Thank you for coming to our Christmas program tonight. Good night. Nice job, everyone. Oh, you did thanks. wonderful. Thank you. Why don't we all take a bow? Oh, okay. 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 Good. Oh, boy. Good I'd like to do it again. Hey, oh, thank you. Hey, that was fun. I have a gift for everyone backstage oh. before you leave, okay? Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. great. Everybody. Oh. Thank you for the nice gift, Mr. Quigley. You're welcome, Trundle. I'm glad you like it. Well, it's time to go to bed. I am tired, Mr. Quigley. Oh, good night and, and Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Sleep well. I am so glad you came to visit the village today. You know you're welcome here anytime. Remember, God loved the world so much that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Well, from all your friends here at Quigley's Village, have a very Merry Christmas. Good night. Worship.